Kia ora bros, welcome to VDB TV. I'm your host, VDB, and today we have a five way free for all on Hot Stepper version five. Hot Stepper five version 1.2.1. Yeah, lava raises in this. If you guys haven't seen this map before, this lava comes up every yeah, five minutes or so, as Stardom says. Nice of him to let us know. The first time I saw this map, I did not realize and just saw everything get destroyed. So the aim of the game here is to push your way up to the center. Well, to this this star here, and you wanna you wanna take one of these little thing like the outcroppings here, and maybe one of the God, what are they called? One of the thermal vents. Excuse me. And then if you can take that center position. But yeah, so let's just get straight into it. Bottom left, we've got Caliburn, the Cortex bot lab here. So he's gonna get all his stuff before he moves. We've got Dracula, Cortex bot lab as well. Bots are very good because of these ramps everywhere. Uh, it's slower for everything to get up there. Bots can move quite freely around this map. So you've got Dracula, Cortex bots. Stardom, Armada bots, nice. Some 10 random. Not sure what he's doing, but he's Armada. And we got Kung Fu Panda, who's also Armada bots. Lovely. Looks like Kung Fu Panda's already taken his low ground stuff. He's left one. And he's just gone straight for his high ground stuff here. Maybe he's going to send a construction bot back down there. Our OS is unstable. That sounds about right. It's looking pretty wild at the moment. <laughs> Grunt's coming out for Dracula. Ah, nice. You see a radar coming up for Kung Fu Panda early. Getting these radars up in the free for alls especially is very essential to see who's doing what. Looks like some 10 random's going to be going vehicles. The only person going vehicles on this map. Stardom's just chilling, getting all his construction bots out. He's going for the classic five. Five construction bot build. Yep. Let's see what everybody else is building. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Uh, and I'm back. Sorry, it was just a scammer. I can't believe I let a scammer interrupt my bloody cast like this. Looks like bad boy Dracula's up here on the high ground shooting his rockets down on Stardom. Stardom doesn't have any units yet, so he's does pick one off with his tower. So he's just gonna have to keep repairing this tower and hope that it doesn't go down. Might need to conscript some of his bots into repairing it with him. If he gets another bot on there, oh too late. Looks like Dracula's gonna come in with his commander now. He's gonna try and get this beamer. Oh if he deguns that. He will degun it. Oh, Nothing else really going on at the moment. Looks like Kelly Burns pushed up onto his little outcrop here. Stardom D-guns his stuff in return. Stardom will win this because he's got the construction bots repairing him in the back. Nice. Good push, good push. Forced him back to his corner. Get out of here! So it looks like Stardom and Dracula are, Dracula are going to be fighting over this. Dracula does say that this one is free. I'm surprised he hasn't sent a... Um, Construction bot over here to take claim this yet. Stardom's quite low now too. That beam is trying. Will she trying? Lazarus coming out, getting the repairs off. It's a great play by Stardom here, showing how our defense should work. That was beautifully defended. Now he's getting his first radar up. Not a great spot for it, but he, he needs to just get one up. It's like a vehicle lab's coming up here for Dracula. Not a whole lot going on on the rest of the map. So it's just Dracula and Stardom fighting over this. Everybody else is sort of just getting to do what they want at the moment. So we're getting our fourth unit lab, our 
my fourth production facility up. Stardom's the only one without a production facility up here now. Yeah, was that T2? I thought it was. It is! So he's gonna get a T2 bot lab, because he's just allowed to just sit here. He's sitting on 25 metal income and he's pumping out a T2 bot lab. That's madness. Let's see if it pays off for him. So there's a little battle between some 10 random and Kung Fu Panda. He does see Stardom's build. He's going to put a push onto Kung Fu Panda here. Good D-Gun, another one. Another good D-Gun. Force that back. Oh yeah, if this goes up, Dracula is in a world of trouble here. Uh, you see that lava rose? Sorry, I just missed it. That lava rose and took everything that was on the low ground. Looks like Kelly Burn's going to be going straight back into claiming that low ground again. He wants that metal income as much as he can, especially because he's got a T2 lab out now. He is stalling metal like crazy. He nobody's attacking him. I'm surprised Dracula hasn't pushed this yet. Stardom stalling out on energy now. Does have Lazarus down the bottom here. Oh! Missed that. Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Kung Fu Panda takes out the first player there. Some 10 random. Gone. He's now four way free for all. I was not expecting that. How did he lose that commander so quick? Gonna be getting a gauntlet up nice and quick. That's gonna have full access to Kelly Burn's entire base here. He's gonna have to clear this before it gets built. Be in a world of trouble if he's not. Stardom forcing Dracula back again. Oh no, it's not looking good for Dracula. Crazy. You're right, T2 units aren't worth anything if you don't have T2 units. <laughs> Dracula's just making a mad dash for it. Stardom has forced him all the way off. Kung Fu Panda and Caliburn are now just going toe to toe like crazy. Get her angle here for this battle. Looks like Stardom's just going to be left to his devices to build up his empire now. And these two duke it out. I'd say Dracula's not too much of a worry anymore. Beautiful build, um, base build here. By Mighty Sheep. Mighty Sheep? Kung Fu Panda, sorry. By Kung Fu Panda. Oh, he is losing all his rocket bots to these thugs. One Centurion out. Doing his darndest. The gauntlet putting in some work. Pretty even battle here. Kung Fu Panda's mind is quite low. But the Sheldons are coming out now. The Sheldons are gonna be one of the feet. The Sheldons are gonna be what probably turn the tide of this battle into Kelly Burns' favour here. Going for the commander snipe. Just can't get enough damage before these repairs done. Now, Stardom might win, but he's not. He's not like. completely in the clear here. Spin out camera back a bit. A little more angle. He's T2. Devastating Kung Fu Panda here. This one that does go down was well, about to go down. Oh, that gauntlet's putting in some work. How much damage does that have? How many kills, sorry. He's only on five kills with the gauntlet. He's definitely doing some damage. Oh, he's got a 
Sebo. Oh, that must not have the angle on the corner, that's a shame. Okay, something's in random Chile. So T2 bots coming out for stardom here. Dracula's desperately trying to rebuild. <laughs> when their fat boy comes through, it's going to be trouble. Stardom just has no army. Nobody's. I mean, Kung Fu Panda and Caliburn are quite uh, tied up at the moment. And then Dracula is stuck in this little corner, and there's not much he can do. So, Stardom's going to find himself in that snowball position soon if he can push forward and take it. I'm pretty sure the lava comes up to the second level at some point. <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure about Stardom building his lab on the low ground here. Well, it's up to 11 kills now. It's putting in some serious work. Caliburn needs to break the siege. We'll see this what he's going to try and do with the Scorpion battery here. There we go. Pop up battery takes it in the end on the high ground. Kung Fu Panda's not. Ah, uh, Mighty Sheep is not in a. No, it is Kung Fu Panda. I keep seeing Mighty Sheep's name up there. Kung Fu Panda's not in a great position now. He's building his T2 bots. It's going to come up quite nicely with a bit of metal to spare, I think. Oh, bang on. Um, that's going to put him into a better position. Does this come all the way up this time? No. Okay, so it doesn't. Kung Fu Panda's in a bit of trouble here. He's got a decent economy going. Had a decent run going. Not quite sure what he can do about this. He needs to get some T2 units out. Looks like he's going to be getting some fat boys out. Dracula's still rebuilding best he can. And Stardom's just doing whatever he feels. He's just getting construction bots. Like, I guess if you're left to, to do this sort of stuff, he's, you're fine. But don't want to put all your faith into these static defenses. Oh, oh there goes that construction bot. And there goes Mighty Sh uh, Fu Panda. Now it is a three-way free-for-all. Oh my god, the absolute murder on those fat boys. Six and two, that was eight kills. Just like that. Dracula's not going to be able to do a whole lot. It is now Caliburn versus Stardom. Stardom has two fat boys out. Oh, danger, danger. Especially if you have the vision. Sending that Lazarus. That greedy, greedy Lazarus straight for the dead commander there. This looks like it's going to be a Stardom win, boys. He had a, oh, oh, I smashed my knee. Ah, he had a pretty rocky start there. Battling against Dracula for most of the game. Luckily nobody else came in from the other side and they just all ended up, these three guys here all just ended up killing each other, leaving Dracula and Stardom to their devices. What's Stardom doing? Why is he not pushing in? He should be going to try and end this. Hello Stardom? Speed this up a bit because I'm not really sure what he's doing. Looks like he's going to go take out Dracula first. There goes Geothermal. <laughs> the only way to beat Fat Boys is a million ticks. Yeah. Looks like another pop up's come up here for Kelly Burn. Geothermal Plasma Battery, and he's got a radar bot. Nice, Dracula's gonna go down. So, one versus one now, Stardom versus Caliburn. 
Stardom should have ended him while he had the chance. I don't, I don't know about this now. This geothermal and this scorpion here. Damn that geothermal's strong. Yeah. I agree, mighty sheep. Damn, what's the range on this bad boy? Look at that! Damn, son. Oh, there goes this Lazarus. He could have won this. Oh no, he needs to get that radar bot. He needs to kill that radar bot. He's got no health. Start him sending his ticks out, getting that scouting information. speed a bit, see what's going on here. So now I'm at a salt box and gear up to go. Fat boys are so strong. They are slow. Here comes the assault. That's going to be enough to deter Stardom. Stardom just needs to go in and take out that turret as that turret goes down. This one sumo. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Now the lava's come up to that middle section. Stardom almost losing his commander there. Surely, surely Sardom's got it now. Push in. Once he pushes in, takes out that geothermal, it's game. If he can take it. I don't know if he can take it. And that thing's strong, so we should have the building turrets behind it. Let's get the radar up so you can see what's going on. Ah, Stardom had it in his grasp. So there you go guys, you can see that even pro players can make mistakes that can cost them dearly in this game. One bot's coming out for Kelly Burn now. Let's crank this back up. Crank the speed back up and get, get what's going on. Sumos and grunts, is it? Nope, grave robbers. <laughs> grave robbers gonna be getting that juicy middle. Sumo's gonna be going up for the vision. Another fat man comes out. sure what the deal is here. The Stardom's just gonna keep making fat boys it seems. I have a feeling that Caliburn's gonna beat him with this unit composition. Because this geothermal, if he can get another one up that would be sick. Wish if he had like one up here or one up here, like two of them. Oh, Stardom would be in definite trouble. Oh, he's in trouble now. I can't believe he can accidentally hit his base. It's way out of range. Servo P, somebody bloody nerf that. So if you guys play this map, try and get a Cerberus up. Madness. The thing is, you can hit 
people who can play the other Cerberuses from here as well. Fatboy's coming in on the right side here. Gonna take out the T1 lab. That they do. Meanwhile, Sumo's walking straight to the front of Stardom's base. Stardom is low. Taking those hits from the Sumo and from the Cerberus. Yeah. He's pulling his fat boys back. There's not a whole lot you can do, really. That's. I think Caliburn's gonna win just because of that one static defense. Who kills this? 66 kills! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh, okay. How's that? We've all learned something new today. I did not know Cerberus was that OP. Holy heckers. Spy Pots is a great play out of Caliburn here, given that vision he needs for a Cerberus. I think, I think that's GG, lads. There's no way Stardom can win this now. Let's crank that speed up a bit. Here comes the lava. Super low. There he goes. GG. Well played, Kelly Burn. MVP goes just to that Cerberus. Not even Kelly Burn, just the Cerberus. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.